Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, hi my name is Maddie of Maddie's Crochet Corner. Um, today's video is just going to be a simple video. I am getting ready for my very first plushie drop. I'm hoping to have it on Wednesday or Tuesday. Um, so today I'm just going to be crocheting as well as working on a new pattern. I will be posting a pattern tester call for these leggy frogs up on my Instagram. So feel free to apply. I will most likely post it today for sure. I'm going to try my hardest to do that. Um, but like I said, I'm just going to be getting ready. Um, for that, I'm going to be making some more leggy frogs in different colors. I already have six in green and three of these and one yellow. I have uh, the colors I have are green, blue, purple, pink, and yellow. So those are what I'm going to be working on. I'm also going to be making a different type of frog, just like a little frog. And I'm hoping to get some dinosaurs done as well as two unicorns and a few elephants as well for the plushie shop and maybe some turtles if I get a chance to but it is currently 11.06 right now I'm gonna try my hardest to get as much stuff done today as possible 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 it is Sunday um but yeah let's go ahead jump right into the video Okay, so I made a list of everything that I want to make. I want to make six leggy frogs of each color. I want to make four axolotls of each color. And the pattern I'll be most likely using is Crochet Groves or um, Alyssa's um, Lumi L Art. She's also on YouTube. Um, she just came out with that pattern on YouTube, so definitely go check it out. And if you want to support her, you can find you can. Um, by the written pattern over on her Etsy. I definitely recommend it. It's a really good pattern. I also want to make two unicorns, two elephants. I want to make two brontos of each color as well as two giraffes and mini octos, ten in each color because those really sell well at markets and I want to see how they will sell online. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump straight into it. done crocheting the little frog it's not a lady frog it's just like one of those normal squishy frogs and look at it it is adorable i tried adding like a little blush on it um but i don't think i'm probably gonna add another layer but this is the cutest frog i have ever made i love it so much this is definitely going on the plushy drop um i think this is the only gonna this is the only one i'll be making today uh, but I'll probably make some more tomorrow. It's so cute. I'm definitely going to write down this pattern and um, do a tester call for it probably in a few weeks because I do have one that I have planned for this week. It's going to be for my lady frogs. I think I said that in the beginning of the video already. But it's adorable. I think uh, now I'm just going to go ahead and make some axolotls from... Uh, Alyssa's pattern so I'll show you guys how that turns out I think the colors I'll be using is this pink and then a white for the like the little are they fins not fins little like I don't know hair whatever that's on them I forget what it's called but yeah this is super cute and I love it so much that's going in the basket of cute stuff that I will be doing but yeah let's go ahead and continue crocheting done making the axolotl i think it took me around 20 minutes because um this was only my first time making it but 
It is a super cute. I thought I used the wrong size eyes, but I didn't. They're the perfect size. I love them. Um, and it, yeah, so they are called fins. I was right. Um, but yeah, so I finished adding all of them. And then uh, because I do not work in rounds, I usually slip stitch at the end of it. So that's what I did for this one. So I did have to end up moving the legs, but it's just because I can't work in rounds. Like I hate using the stitch marker, but it's a super simple pattern. I love it so much. I definitely plan on making more. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go ahead and make some more of these off camera um, and show you in a few hours. We're probably crochet until it's, let's see, it's 12 21 right now. So I'll probably crochet until 1 30 to 2, probably till 2, and make some more of these dudes. Um, but yeah, they're super cute. I love them a lot. Um, I definitely recommend the pattern. So yeah, I'll see you guys in a little bit. Hi guys, so it is actually not 2 o'clock, it is 5.46, that uh, huge difference. Um, I didn't get a whole lot done cr as crocheting wise as I wanted to. Um, I did get sidetracked because I was spending time with my family and I helped my friend figure out how to make a lady frog. I, sh I shared my pattern with her, but like we were FaceTiming and I helped her. Um, but she got the head down, so yeah, it's looking a little wonky, but she's doing good for her first one. Um, but yeah, it looks really good. The things I did make were a green and white axolotl. It's really cute. I love it. And I think this is my favorite thing. One of my favorite things I have ever crocheted. And it's a turtle. I love it so much. Um... It was super simple. It's a YouTube, uh, YouTube tutorial. I'll go ahead and leave a link to it um, in the description box so you guys can go and find it. But it's super, super cute. I really, really like it, and I'm looking forward to selling it, even though I want to keep it. Like, ugh. Um, but yeah, the other things I've been working on is part of a pink, um, leggy froggy, and then part of a purple one. The thing reason I started it differently is because the purple one is the one I started helping my friend with. But yeah, so I think I'm going to go ahead and continue recording um, me making these leggy frogs and I will get back to you guys when I'm done. Also, probably tonight I will be posting a tester call for the leggy frogs if you guys want to go and apply. Um, but yeah, definitely go apply and I'm looking forward to it. One leggy frog done. It's adorable. I love it. Um, I'm going to quickly take some product pictures of these leggy frogs so I can do a post on Instagram and then post it on Instagram, the pattern poster call. Um, but yeah, it's super cute. I love it a lot. Um, but yeah, I'm going to make some more and I'll see you guys in a little bit. Okay, so um, here's the thing. I finished crocheting this, right? I uh, I also put the pattern tester call up on Instagram. After I did that, I started cr I finished crocheting this. And as I was crocheting it, I thought I had put a time lapse on my phone so you guys could crochet with me. No, I didn't. <laughs> After I finished making it, I went to go stop the time lapse, but there was no time lapse for me to stop, which is really sad because I thought I did so there's some less filming time <laughs> um but I do want to go ahead and I want to crochet a stingray with that gray yarn I'm gonna go ahead find one really quickly and start crocheting it so I will see you guys in a little bit yeah I'll try to remember to um film it this time so you guys can see the progress um, but yes, so yeah, definitely go apply to be for that tester call. It's over on my Instagram. If you don't ha already, if you're not already following me, I'll leave a link to my Instagram in the description box as usual. So I'll see you guys in a little bit.
little update on the stingray. This is how it's going. I'm almost done with the body, then I can finish up the tail and be done. Okay, people, are you ready for the finished result of the stingray? This dude, he is adorable. I'm in love with him. I think I may add little white dots on top of him because Hawaii stingrays um, actually have little white dots in them, so that's what I may end up doing. And this is a really nice, simple pattern to follow. It's from Rose and Lily on Instagram, from their, and then they have a link to their website, which has a whole bunch of free patterns on it. Definitely will be looking into those three patterns, but yeah. I did, the only thing I did change was the tail. It was supposed to be five more rows longer, but I just thought that would be too long and I made it like this. But yeah, I think I like it like this and it's really cute. For my first stingray, I think I did pretty good and I definitely plan on making more in the future. Um, I think I do want to go ahead and end the video off right here because I do not want it to be too long and I also will probably end my crocheting for the night here um but yeah this video will be posted on monday hope you guys enjoyed it and if you could please um go check out my etsy when i do the drop so it's going to be on tuesday i'm not sure what time probably towards lunch time in hawaii time so it might be around three or four york time depending on where you are but yes, definitely come check out my Etsy. Um, if I will probably be recording Tuesday uh, to see what happens during the drop. Hopefully I'll get my first sale. If so, I'll probably be package packaging it on, t on a video, but um, we will see what happens. But yeah, I am just super excited for it. And I'll go ahead and leave a link to this in the description box as well to this turtle um so you guys can go check it out the only thing i did change about the turtle is i added uh, another row of single crochet around it because the shell was too flat like it would be this row without it but yeah it's super cute it's super simple pattern i love it i love making it probably takes me like half an hour for each turtle around that time but yeah um thank you so much for watching today's video and i hope to see you guys in my next one. Oh, yeah well hope to see you guys in the next one also, I do plan on doing a Q&A video in the future, so if you have any questions, please go ahead and feel free to uh, leave a comment, and you can do as many questions as you would like it to be. Um, but yeah, don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave a comment, and I hope you guys have a wonderful day.